Aquarius, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Some ground rules before we get started. Yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else and does not have to be about a spouse, significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whoever fits that dynamic as I'm describing it. So do keep in mind, it could be about a family member or friend. Yeah, there you go. So take it resonates, leave it does not. Reverse energies as you see fit, more so with yours and theirs as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private which is to say they may not resonate at all. And as frustrating as that is, and it is, it's also normal. General collective readings. It may not apply. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get cracking. Show me. I kind of have to do a mental checklist. Did I say, did I say, did I? It's the technicality more for myself, my sanity than anything else, guys. But also there are, if you can believe it, people who are very, very new to terror and they have not a clue, you know. So it helps them too. What's going on, please? <clears throat> Show me Aquarius in their person. Show me Aquarius in their person. Show me Aquarius in their person. Oh. Poor Cinnamon is just worn out. <laughs> she is worn out. She had two full days of um of of being with her friends in doggy daycare camp. Um and uh between that and the humidity and the rain, she just, she's like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> she's been napping all day. <laughs> What's going on, please? It's hard to, I have to remember a lot that she's still a puppy. She's only seven months old. And uh, she still gets uh, high energy, yes, but worn out quickly for that reason. So, what's going on, please? Show me. And I'm just looking at her off screen. She just looks, just, she looks so defeated. It's like, I have no energy today. <laughs> it's cute. I wish I could turn the camera around so you could see her. It's really cute. All right, what's going on, please, for Aquarius? And their person. She can't even be bothered to play with her toys correctly today. She's like, no. <laughs> Nine of Cups. The Fool. Oh, Queen of Cups. Don't you just look light and gorgeous? You just love yourself. You're happy. It's beautiful. There really isn't much more to say. You love yourself and you know you do. Okay, I'm not saying you're perfect. What I'm saying is you got a good head start. And the fool, you're feeling a certain blast to be open at this time, specifically open from the heart. Okay? Possibly open to a new beginning. Who knows? Judgment. Page of cups. Page of wands. Um, in due course, someone will open up. I don't have much on this person. It could be a brand new energy. I do not know. Is so very, very small, uh, but it's opened up with judgment. So something's under development with somebody. Okay. For themselves first. Two of Pentacles. Strength in the Ace of Cups. Yeah, even you admit, you know, you don't know what's out there for you, uh, but it's not going to keep you from trying. So it's shared. Sometimes it isn't shared. Sometimes it's singular. And that's what you're showing me. You're saying you don't necessarily know when the next thing is going to happen. In terms of love, you're just saying you're 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 remaining open to the subject, and I think that's beautiful. It's not always clear to you, particularly in terms of time. But you're saying I got it. Strength to Ace of Cups. If something's for me, I will open up towards it in time, and I think that's very positive where you are. And that kind of tells me that this one's still a little far off. It's still in the process of developing, coming forward, or you two just haven't intersected timelines yet. So, in the overview, just keeping to yourself in that sense of justice, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm already loving your reading today. I really am. Everything begins with the self, and there's just no point in pursuing love or being open towards it if you yourself don't like who you are or where you are or what you're doing. And you're, you're saying, I, I actually do love myself. And I want to remain open to a journey, but the right one. <laughs> you're like, sometimes you give here and there, but... If it doesn't stick or you, you can't invest in it fully, there's a reason why. It's just not for you. It's the whole point of trying it out. But uh, you say when it's time to fully open up, you'll know. And I trust that. And nobody's perfect. I always have to point that out. <laughs> there's no such thing as perfect. All you can really do is have an idea of who you are and uh, what you're feeling. And are you being authentic to yourself? Do you really believe in what you say? Do you really feel what you feel? Do you know what you know? And if you do, great. Peace be with you. Go about your journey. You know, don't look back. Just keep going. And uh, you have a good sense of this is what's right and this is what's wrong for me. The old give and take principle. 
So justice here, being a little bit more on the internal spiritual side, I do the best that I can in accordance to my conscience or my heart as it dictates. And that's that's the best kind of overview to have, my opinion, is justice, which is one of my favorite positions to see for people. I have a really good idea of what measures give and take, right and wrong. This is for me, this isn't for me, as I said. And when you have an idea of what that's like as a person, yeah, I should hope you feel good about you, right? And not perfect. I'll see I'll see our little this, that, and the other, our little hang-ups and foibles and stuff. But so long as you have a good idea of you, you'll be all right. We're all out here just doing the best we can, some of us more than others. I've been seeing so many. I'm making a decision to rush in and try to get things going again with people. And that's, I don't know if it's because we're back in Mercury, blah, blah. I try not to put too much weight into that because people already overemphasize it enough as it is. I'm like, guys, just make choices like any other day. You'll be fine. Some people make the wrong choices. It's on us to see it for what it is and then don't participate if we know it's not correct. That's it. Stop giving so much weight to the Mercury bullshit. Seriously. It might be a thing, but it's also kind of a cliche. So don't don't buy so much into it. Just know who you are. That's it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Mercury this. Oh, Mercury that. Yeah, and life goes on. Don't get caught up in it. You become another statistic. Oh, this, that, and the other. Don't participate. <laughs> you know, you got to get on with life. Let's say justice, please. Let's say justice, please. Show me justice. Do I think this stuff is fascinating? Yeah. Do you get lost to it? No. Don't get lost to it, guys. Don't get lost to anything. Be open to it, but know when to move on. You know? That's what real balance is. Anyway, I'm not sure why I brought that up. Oh, I know why. Because I keep seeing these horrible, horrible reentries of people who have no business reconnecting. And so when it's there is a good reconnection there or people have learned things, I'll tell them. But it, God, so many folks are like, I ain't learned nothing, but I'm just showing back up for no reason. Oh, my God. <laughs> I the, the rate that I saw that for folks. Even I'm like, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Anyway, Seven of Cups, the Magician, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there you go. You're manifesting, specifically you're manifesting more love for yourself and really fine-tuning that sense of what's right for me and what's not right for me. You are very invested in this, particularly in that respect of I need to understand my self-worth before I do anything or try to answer any questions. And I, I love this. I actually I really like this. You spent a lot of time with you and really appreciating your own sense of comfort, but that's not really the point. Your own sense of self-worth, you measuring against yourself and manifesting to the best of your ability what's right for you amidst those seven of cups. And you always come back to the same result. I need to love myself first. And if I have to question too deeply after that, then it's probably not for me. So good job. Good job, Aquarius. Honey, this is fantastic. Heck. You like so long as I remain open, but above all open to myself and my needs, I'll be okay. Yes. Good. This is great. I love this, Aquarius. Honey, I'm so happy for you. I feel like the Aquarius Collective is finally taking that turn. Because when collective shifts, I see it. Because when they're low, they're low. And when they're high, they're high. And when they're just right, they're just right. And they tend to stay that way until the collective starts to shift again in certain ways. So I think uh, for Aquarius, I remember you guys had hit a rough patch for what seems like a month, months at a time, I should say. It was plural. I think we're seeing the turn of the tides, honey. And you either identify that, you either feel stable more often than not, and you're acting stable, and you understand this is what's right for me more often than not, without putting too much thought into it, or you don't. Okay, the Aquarius I'm looking at says, you understand what the priorities are. You get it. Okay, let's go ahead and get an idea of how you understand your wish fulfillment is. Nine of Cups. Because you're saying once you understand what your wish fulfillment is, you can be open towards it. Okay. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups. Show me that Nine of Cups. Some of you have very strong water qualities. I 
excuse me, the world, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, uh, you're saying you've had experience turning down emotional flow before and withholding it. You are kind of experienced with this. So again, there's that whole, I've tried some things out. And if it's too confusing or I don't understand it, I just won't participate. You're showing me that too. So you're showing me your standards. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like your process for elimination and then also your process for participation, right? Because once you understand one, you kind of understand the other. Um, no, that's that's great. You're saying uh, if it please you, you move towards it. If it does not please you, if you have no particular flow, you don't force the subject and you just don't participate. So that means you have to be comfortable being on your own and not feeling emotional pressure to connect with people. And that's what you're showing me. First and foremost, my energy is for me. And if there's any sense of pressure there or it's non-returned, it's just not doing it for you, whatever, you don't participate. Isn't that beautiful? Know thyself. And you can't put a price on that kind of knowledge, you know? You're saying it's not for just anyone, but first and foremost, your love is for you. How you love and nurture and care for yourself, that's the priority. And if it does not suit, you do not participate. That's it. That's all she wrote. Some of that fool, please. Some of the fool, please. Some of the fool, some of the fool. Strength. Yeah, you have a lot of pride. I oh, know. You make that work for you. Okay, there I see you opening up to someone. Communication is coming through soon. It looks like it's a soul bond. I'm going to go ahead and default to this person that's currently under spiritual development before the connection takes place. At some point, I don't think it's happened yet. If not, soon, possibly upwards to Leo season, as I have seen that a couple times, i.e. summer. So that would, yeah, that would literally be June, July, August. <laughs> <laughs> with the full I see opening up to a beginning here. This could be a soul bond you have yet to meet, which would mean it's a completely new energy, but it's going to have that old soul feel, or it could be someone you have not heard from in a hot minute and they had some development to do on their own particular timeline. I don't know. We'll take a look. So far it's looking fresh. It's looking inspired. Okay. And uh, it provokes a certain level of strength in you that says, uh, yes, yes, it feels strong. The communication feels strong and straightforward, but it's coming from what looks like someone of importance. I don't quite know who they are to you yet. And if it is a brand new energy, it's going to feel like you've known them forever. You may not be able to explain it, but that's what that soul bump thing is. It's like you've known them forever, even if you just met them yesterday. It's the, the word that's best described is unique. It doesn't feel like any other connection because it's not supposed to. I see you saying yes to it. As the fool, it's very fresh. It's very invigorating. Up until this point, I see you having withheld, sharing your heart space because it didn't meet the criteria. That's it. You got to know when to participate. And like I said, we're not. This one you are very much participating in, but it feels fresh. It feels light. You know, let's see that Queen of Cups, please. Some of that Queen of Cups, some of that Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Devil, the Queen of Cups. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. Ten of swords try to fall out of my hand. Now that's interesting. It's a bit of a twist. I have two queens of cups here. Three of pentacles. The devil. What is that? What is that? What is that?
What is this? This doesn't feel the same. It does not feel the same as what I just saw. This is light, open, beautiful, consistent. And then you showed me heart space around something that's constructing and you don't know if you can emotionally trust it. It's fear. It suggests a fearful pattern with something or someone. Three of Pentacles usually takes another person. It's active construction work with somebody. But the response you're giving this is completely different. This one's brave and bold and a good representation of you. Okay? No hang-ups there with the fool. I'm going to open up towards this because it feels right, literally, by your own criteria. And then further down, I see you having a poor reaction to somebody, but you still love it. Is that a little add-on there? Are we looking at a friend that's not maybe not so friendly? Mm -hmm. Completely two different reactions. You have a poor emotional construct with somebody that you keep giving to, but you probably feel you shouldn't. Whereas this one, it's a beautiful entry. Let's jump on over here to judgment in these pages. I'll get back to that. If it doesn't make sense along the way, we'll get back to it. No, I just want to double check that one. Let's see judgment, please. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. Show me judgment. It feels a little selfish. Especially given you just started a fresh, healthy connection with somebody. Even if you know them a little bit with six cups, I don't care. It feels a little covetous, a little jealous. It seems to be demanding a lot of your heart space for how little is put into it with the Three of Pentacles. It feels a little possessive. Like, don't take your attention away from me, Aquarius. You seem to have connected with someone you actually like and is healthy for you. Give me some of your attention again, please, Aquarius. That's why I don't like it. Okay. Told you it felt different. But you have an emotional response to it that says you have to be there. I disagree. I disagree. You are all heart for this person. It's almost like a bleeding heart or a sympathetic response to this. I don't like it. It's a pattern you have with somebody who you probably give way too much of your emotionality for the three of pinnacles that it's worth. So, I'll get back to it, like I said. I'm, uh, I'm not done with that. Yeah, I know, whoever this is... Yes, yes, this, this, whatever this is up here on this line, it's preparing to make an entry, okay, for one reason or another. It's just not right there in front of you. It's coming. I see the communication, okay, it looks lovely, like I said. It's heavy connection up here. The hanged man, like I said, it's on standby, judgment. It's just literally, it's a matter of time. It's not if, it's when. The, this person's on when. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, we don't want people to enter our lives until they are energetically prepared, especially when this much is at stake. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a very strong connection. I'm not going to lie that, that the passion connectivity is, it's way up there. <laughs> it's way up there, but it's also on standby. Uh, so this, this person, their spiritual energy is still developing and making its way towards you. So it just hasn't made its entry yet. Um, it's right here. It does kind of sweep you off your feet, but in a happy, healthy way. Otherwise, you would not be responding to it the way I see you do. This has to be a... Guys, I'm sorry. I got to call it right now. This has to be a jealous reaction. Sorry. I said what I said. And now, sorry, I want you to know. There's a reason I'm seeing it. it. It's not for drama. It's not to get views. I had no idea that I was going to get put down. I thought I was going to see a continuation as of a developing love energy between you and the soul bone. I had every reason to believe that. So the only reason this is popping up is because it's predictive, and I didn't know, and neither did you. And now you know. Someone's having a possessive, negative reaction to this. Possibly jealous. Mm. 
God, why can't people just let people be happy? I mean, really. But the only thing it does is that it seems to pull your emotional energy away from the good stuff and direct it back towards itself. So that is anybody, guys. Three of Pentacles could be anybody. I have not the clue. Someone, a jealous friend, like a friend of me. They see how well you're doing, you're falling in love, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And they're like, well, I'm going to try to soak up some Aquarius' time so I can get all that goodness and feed off of it. I don't know, but I don't like the reaction. It feels low-key possessive. Jealous. Jealous by proxy. You have such a huge emotional response to this. Like, let me reassure you. Everything, oh, no, no, I can hang out with you too. I can hang out with you. Something like that. Let me just reassure you. Let me reassure you. This is someone whom you prop up emotionally, but you don't seem to understand you have a pattern to them. Because you don't see them as a love interest. That's why. But you have an emotional response that suggests this is someone I feel protective of. And I need to kind of prop up their sense of self. Oh, sorry, three of cups, three of pentacles, two of wands, completely different. It's completely different. There's the initial uh, bringing it into 3D. There it is, right there. It's an initial. It, guys, this is a brand new energy that's coming across as a soul bunch you've yet to meet. I don't see that too often, so, you know, FYI. <laughs> you know, FYI, uh, there's the 3D. Here's the energy gathering itself. Here it introduces itself. It's literally a matter of time, and it's on the midline. It starts as these things do. Pages, two of wands, three of pentacles, three of cups. There's a lot behind it that's stoking it forward, uh, propelling it forward. Um, but this is what basic entry-level connectivity looks like. I'm just meeting you, with you. Let's connect. Let's hang out. Let's, let's increase the frequency. Let's talk more. Let's hang out more. Um, there you go. This is someone else. You don't see this person romantically at all. Yes. I mean, guys, this person represents your own sense of karma, justice, for balancing up with yourself. They have a similar process. Like attracts like. It's the law of attraction. You pulled this person in. Uh, they do feel like a brand new. They are brand new. It's the ace of cups, but they're wrapped up in soul bond energy. So it can kind of give that impression that you know them, but you haven't met them yet. Okay, like I said, I don't get to see this too often. People pay good money for this. Um... Yeah, no, it's just beginning. It's just unfolding. It's The pages here are appropriately placed for what's happening on this person's timeline as it connects with yours. As you get to know them, their energy is going to expand. Uh, it's 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 the legit justice. The way you say, I my energy is for me first, my love is for me first. Okay? Um, I will not participate in leaky structures or <laughs> whatever that is. Um, where all the energy is just being wasted. You're saying, I won't do that. I know myself. You open up towards this. Here it is coming through. There's the communication. You respond. I see you two connect. You basically, this this whole line and what you're telling me is that you two are literally hitting it off. This is what entry level, just starting to get to know someone, but it feels right, almost right away looks like. That's what that is. This is what people want in real life. This is that person that you've heard your best friend talk about you know, we connected and it just, it just fit right away. It just felt right, right away. That's what you will be experiencing soon. It hasn't happened yet. It's still cooking back here in the early stages and you already have your criteria. Cool. Right around here, I'm going to take a guess between three months to the summer. And it develops from there. It's beautiful. This is what I'm concerned about. Someone is not happy about this. 
or they really covet your time. This is, I just, it just clicked. This is the one that got friend zoned, huh? Thing is, <laughs> once somebody agrees to be friends and the other person doesn't take it for granted, they take it at face value, you're in the friend zone or the friend box because someone couldn't declare their intentions and the other person has now seen you as a friend and it's really hard to get that vision and transform it. This is someone who got put in the friend zone for you, eh? And now they're jealous you're connecting. This so happens when you don't take a shot. You get left out. Or, more to the point, you said you were a friend. Now you're going to stay that way. Most likely, yeah. Um... The idea of a friend zone or a friend box is, is kind of gross to me because the idea is, is that person feels safe because they can't, quote unquote, make a move, which means you're a liar. You're not a real friend. You still want something. You still have an alter ulterior motive, but you don't have the cojones to say so. So, so not only are you not the lover, you're not the love interest, you're also not a very good friend because the idea is, is that you want something. You still want something, but you don't have the nerve to say it. And so you, you, you think you get to be possessive. You know, no, you don't get to be possessive. You had your chance, you didn't take it. That's it. That's all. Is it, I don't know why it took me a minute to click on that. It's just the bluntness of it kind of threw me off. <laughs> the immediate response to your happiness and healthy actions was negativity that you come to an emotional rescue for. So this... This is a friend with poor intentions attached to them. And you're all heart for them. And that's why you haven't dismissed them, because you told me what your, your dismissal criteria was. So if that person had poor intentions, why didn't you dismiss them? Why? Because they're dressed up as a friend. They're not. But your response to them is that you deeply care about them as a friend. That's why they weren't dismissed as a romantic partner, because they never presented themselves as one. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it takes me a minute, honey, but I get there. I get there. I get there in the end. I'm that person that perhaps I would have been better suited as a detective in real life. But in a way, I am. <laughs> in a way, I am. I'm a detective of spiritual S. Hey, there you go. Hey, we can shift that from tarot reader. Kind of boring. Okay. But it fits the bill to detective spiritual. Hmm. The detective of spiritual essence. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In a way, I'm still kind of a detective. It's just a different kind. I'm about motivation. I want to understand the motivation. That way I can advise people appropriately. So the more I understand, I, I, I don't... They look pretty harmless. It's just their poor behavior patterns suggest that this person makes decisions based in fears and their inability to understand who they are or what they want. Of course, therefore, opposites attract. You show me you know exactly who you are, what you want, and um, how you honor yourself. So, of course, you're going to attract somebody in your sphere that does the opposite of it. Because this is the person that would like to rise to where you are, but they can't. So they siphon off your light and good energy. You know what I mean? It is the law of attraction. What they see in you, what they covet in you, in your connection, is what they want for themselves. But because they won't step into it, because they won't evolve, they won't develop, they stay stuck down here in this kind of covetous, pitiful little gremlin stage. It says, I want, I want, I want, but I can't do it, I can't do it. So this is where we see the law of attraction fail. Just because you know what you want doesn't mean you know how to step up to it. You know? That's not your problem. But I do want you to know. Okay. Anyway, let's focus. Two pentacles. I got it. Time has passed. I want to see how you're using strength. Uh, you showed me that a couple times. Now you might just have some prominent Leo in your chart. Seven of cups. Okay. The Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, yeah. Taking your time, knowing when to not get involved. You're saying this is a matter of pride to you. 
that you choose to use strength to the best of your ability. So this is good because I, I see strength and I typically go out of my way to clarify it because strength, like all power cards, all energy that's available to us, we can either use it for ourselves or against ourselves. And you say you try to use it for yourself by enforcing standards, even if they're uncomfortable. <clears throat> and that means knowing when not to participate, even if maybe it feels interesting or that it could go somewhere. You're kind of like, uh, I got to stick to my criteria. If it feels too loose-ended or open-ended or too stagnant, or frankly, there's just nothing there to anchor me, you're saying you won't get involved. Okay. So your inner Aquarius has been around the block enough to have a kind of strong boundary there, a strong standard for yourself that you take pride in reinforcing, even if it makes you feel lonely and uncertain. I'd rather you stick with what feels right to you than question your choices in love. That way, when you wholeheartedly say yes to something like I see you do, you can do so with confidence. See what I'm saying? So even if you feel like your choices sometimes make you feel a little lonely, especially over time, perhaps for some of you it's been a couple of years since you've last been in a, some sort of relationship construct, one based at the heart. I, again, I'd rather you reinforce uncomfortable standards, even maybe lonely standards, than to feel lonelier with somebody you're supposed to be connected to because you're in an empty connection just for the sake of it. What's that pressure? The pressure to be in a connection. You're saying you don't want to get involved in that. You know, just to be in something, to say you're part of something. You don't want that either. So that kind of tells me where you're coming from and why you put so much emphasis on your own sense of self and personal growth. Because when you get into empty vacuums like that, nobody grows, right? I get you. So like I said... I'd rather you reinforce your standards and feel a little lonely because when it's time to say yes, you'll know when it's time to say yes. This is why all those other situations didn't quote-unquote work out. They didn't need to. Okay? All right. Now, you're demonstrating proper law of attraction because you know yourself, because you held out, you attracted someone of equal measure. That's real law of attraction. You know what your worth is, and therefore you stepped into it when it was time. This person couldn't. Okay? Your emotional response to them is real, and it had me concerned at first. It does seem to distract you from whatever this is. So just FYI, if you ever... No, 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 it's not like that. They're not like that. Yeah, they are. They're not jealous. Why would they be jealous? They, they told me they were a friend. Uh-huh. That one. Okay. Ace of Cups, please. And that's if it's part of your storyline. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, the chariot, so shall it be. Uh, whatever fears you have, possibly of things breaking, you're saying that's not going to deter you from moving forward. You're saying you know what a good investment is and you will part ways with what you need to in order to generate that new potential. So this is new, new, guys. And I know you have a little bit of a history. Congratulations. That means you are a living being that's had experiences, which means you had to have the guts to have experiences in order to learn and grow. So you're not going to let those old experiences of breakage hold you back from new investments. Thank goodness. You're saying you know a good deal when you see it and you're going to go for it. So you are saying that in this person, um, you know, guys, Ace of Cups, five of, I'm sorry, Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, which I love in this deck. So beautiful. This is a brand new opportunity that is being put forward into someone whom you will recognize as a soul bone sooner rather than later. Uh, if you want to use that language, the one. I try not to perpetuate that myth because there are many the ones. <laughs> there are. It may not seem that way, but it's true. Everyone that you passed up until this point or everything else that didn't work out could have been the one too. If you had chosen them. That doesn't mean you would have been happy with your choice. So that's why it's good to have standards. That way when somebody actually comes along and it actually feels right, you can say that's the one with confidence instead of that's the one as in default setting. You hear the difference in language? There you go. That's why I'm not a big fan of the one. <laughs> Lots of people have the one and they don't like the one. But hey, you got to be with somebody, right? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Chariot. Yeah, moving forward, strength of conviction. Do not let fears of the passive abandonment hold you back. You got this one. That's good. This one's good. Keep it. This one's good. Invest all up in it. You are demonstrating proper law of attraction, as are they. So in other words, you're equal. They are going to feel like a soul bond sooner rather than later. And I cannot begin to emphasize you to you once more. This is one you have yet to meet. That's why judgment in a couple of pages. I see the expanse happening. This is, this is legit. It's nice to see this. I am sorry about your friend here, but if they were a real friend, they would have told you their intents and purposes and agendas long before it got to that point. I still see you interacting with them at the emotional level in order to kind of prop them up and reassure them that everything's fine and that they're a friend when that's not what they want, but they never had the nerve to say it, so... Or something happened. Maybe you two talked about it at one point and you're like, I just don't think I can see you that way as a friend and as a consolation. They're like, okay, I guess I'll accept that. And they know that's not what they wanted. Okay. Again, there was still a choice here. Um, they look harmless. It's just a lot of possessive energy behind your emotional self, because I see how much it pulled the Queen of Cups from you. Like, you go rescuing them. Their sense of self and their place in your world, I, I don't like it, but that's your business. What you do with them in the long term, I don't know. But now that I think I've answered the question on that one, I don't need to dig into it much further. All tarot is at will, free will. Okay? So, I'm saying but one of many choices. I just, I wouldn't... Mm. The emotional leverage that person's going to need to feel propped up and still have a place in your world when they clearly don't, not at that level, it seems like it's a bit much. That's your choice. In the greater uh, scheme of things, I am very happy for you. Um, you are the question I'm looking at. This is absolute proof positive of what it is to have standards and to love yourself first. Um, and knowing when to say yes versus when to say no. And that way you can head forward into a new investment with full appreciation. Five of Pentacles does not deter me and it shouldn't deter you. Five of Pentacles is literally fear of abandonment based on experiences of the past. So whatever it is you experienced in the past, do not allow it to jeopardize your aces and momentum of the future. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what... I was saying this karmic partner here, let's call it karmic friendship. You give them a little too much in terms of that emotional rescue. I'm seeing counsel and therapy. You've tried to help this person and you really believe that they're your friend, don't you? You give them a great deal of your emotional energy to prop up their idea of self. And if they had a more realized ideal of self, you wouldn't, I think, feel the need to be in this position. I know they want more from you than what they're saying. Or perhaps it was addressed and you really took it at face value that they could just be friends. It's not true. They have some karmic things they need to learn and it shouldn't be you that's the teacher. But that's your choice. We have choice in all things. Okay? So if you think of this person, you're like you have a reflexive sigh, reflexive, excuse me, sigh, you know, no, no, I said I was going to hang out with them Thursday. It seemed important, like they got a lot on their chest or their mind again. But I do. I care about them. I really, really do. Maybe I need to spend more time with them. You see how that's going? So here's the thing about karmic, guys. It's a contract. Once you stop feeding the contract, it's no longer karmic. You no longer feel obligated to give to it because you're not giving to it. Okay? You're not this person's emotional prop. They need to discover their north node just like you did. Okay? For some of you, perhaps Aquarius is your north node indeed. But that's not the point. I don't care what your placement is. You get the idea. Okay? Understanding your purpose. Third eye. Clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You did all that stuff. You did all the hard work, like I said. Congratulations, though, once more to you. 
There's another ace, fate, detour, divine intervention. Yeah, I know the energy is building, the energy is building, the energy is building. I see that happening. It was a matter, it's like I said, it's not if, it's when. <laughs> so, and I, yeah, I know it's coming on through. Now, at first, it's going to feel like a heavy dose of attraction that's just smacking you in the face uh, for you and them. So this is coming across heavily as um, masculine. Okay, I got to get in there, that kind of thing. Um, once things develop, though, things take their natural course in terms of getting to know each other, being fair, fair, opening up, opening up, you know, building, building, building. And then we understand everybody's on the same pathway to what looks like new love that feels correct to everybody. Um, there's some confusion about that. You both wonder if you are each other's law of attraction principles. It seems like that gets cleared up sooner rather than later. Okay. Okay, that's why I didn't pay too much attention to that Two of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> Hot and cold. Generous offer. There's the, I, I know again who that's referring to, and I'm kind of tired of them drawing back to the reading. Uh, does this friend of yours, are they very generous with some things? to get your attention and you know they'll give you this and is that why you're so emotionally attached to them it's because you see them as being very generous but then sometimes they're hot and cold yeah that's that that patternized fear behavior so just fyi it's like how can so and so be so generous with this that and the other but then be so hot and cold about how they are with me yeah that's that's that person fear can do crazy things to people but mostly fear when it takes over like that, you really lose sense of self. Okay. You get too caught up in will they, won't they see this for what it is? Will they understand that there's more to this offer than just that? Oh, God. Instead of just being straightforward, etc. Okay. Okay. Aquarius, honey, I hope this helps you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.